welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'm going to be talking to you guys about how my second trimester went and how I've been feeling just in general and just have a little chat with you guys. So I'm currently 29 weeks, which actually I am in my first trimester, which gives me more of an opportunity to talk about my last trimester rather than right now, because obviously now is the first trimester. And at the back, as you can see, I'm trying to do this progression pictures of my pregnancy so every week I take a picture I haven't changed it yet it says 28 weeks but I have to do another one for 29 weeks because I haven't had even time or energy to do a picture for that an excuse about my face I know like it's just a ban but this is literally how I've been feeling no energy no motivation to even be bothered how I look right now so my second trimester so in my first trimester I haven't been feeling well obviously like everybody and I've been really nauseous and I had like no appetite that has finally changed after I was 18 weeks so you know when they say oh yeah after your 12 weeks first trimester you're gonna start feeling much better that didn't happen to me until I was maybe like 18 weeks for me it just took ages but I'm finally happy because now I can eat more food and I feel more hungry and I don't look at food and feel like well however due to eating more and more food and trying to eat a lot of different foods I got diagnosed with stomach acid and indigestion now I have been given so many different medications which after taking two or three tablets which were supposed to work most of them didn't work at all I just decided not to take any medication at all after that because I felt like it wasn't working at all and what's the point of me just ingesting these medications and it doesn't even have an effect so I decided to maybe try to cure myself with food I haven't really got rid of it yet but it has definitely improved and I'm probably not gonna get rid of it at all because I'm pregnant and my belly's growing and all my organs are going up so it's just normal I understand that however indigestion is still a big problem and this is due because I'm eating so much I get really hungry and I feel like all I want is eat and with indigestion you're not supposed to eat big meals and you're supposed to wait for it to digest and sometimes I eat too much food and then I don't wait for it to digest and I start eating more 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 and then I get just massive indigestion in my stomach and by the time that goes away it's just ages finally got some more motivation in my second trimester <laughs> However, to be honest, not that much. I think most of all it's due to weather and my lifestyle. I do have a full-time job, so it's just draining all the time. And I just feel like I don't have a lot of energy and I get tired very quickly. So in my first trimester, I used to have a really low blood pressure and I used to be really prone to fainting on the street or just randomly. And I did faint a few times and this has actually improved now. I haven't fainted since my first trimester. Congratulations. So to put my blood pressure up, I have to have snacks with me and eat really regularly. And whenever I feel more fainty, I just try to eat something really fast. Either it's like a sugary drink or some fruits or some snacks. But it has been getting better. I can go to the shop normally now and not worry what can happen in the shop and if I will end up in a hospital. And of course, I haven't been getting sick at all. Okay, let's not say at all because that's, that's not true. I have been getting sick. Sometimes, very very rarely, maybe like once a month. The other day I was vomiting because I saw the end of a banana and made me feel a little bit sick. <laughs> Which is really abnormal, I know, but it just happens. But I think a lot of times I will get sick if I haven't eaten like breakfast for a long time. So as soon as I get up and my body is ready to go, within about two hours I don't feel very well. So if I wake up at six, I have to have something at eight. And I know usually I would have something at 9 or 10 because that's like my breakfast time, my normal routine. My baby just doesn't like that. My baby's like, you're up. You're ready to eat, girl, because I want some food in me. So I started feeling the baby move and kick. Well, I felt it move before, but like a kick, strong kick, when I could actually put my hand on it. Was that about 18 weeks? And that was when I was on my holiday, which was quite weird because I just suddenly felt these kicks and I said to my boyfriend oh put your hand on it and he actually felt it at that exact time which was like yay the baby's kicking now obviously at this moment right now I'm 29 weeks pregnant oh my goodness it's just kicking all the time punching me around to move in swimming I don't know what it's doing in there I think it must be some aerobics or yoga or something because it's 
really really active so I did have a holiday as well at 18 weeks I actually traveled by plane and I went to Poland to visit my family which was a, such an amazing time so the one thing that um, Miriam is enjoying throughout this pregnancy is eating her fruits and what one way to um, spend the day eating some red berries <laughs> that you can't get in England can oh, you? Yeah, no mm. maybe somewhere but my family was really happy to see me and my mom was so scared that something's gonna happen on the plane. She was actually scaring me and I was like, stop scaring me. It's perfectly fine to travel on planes in my second trimester. So I did that and I felt absolutely fine and I had a good time and it was a good rest for a week and the holiday was just amazing and seeing my family was great. I also changed my diet, like I was saying, to vegan and I became full-time vegan at 20 weeks. So before that I was a vegetarian since last year but i decided to actually do change my diet and give myself a big challenge and become a vegan and since i was 20 weeks so that's about two months now a little bit over two months just so proud of my foods just have been so better i have been feeling so much better i'm so proud of myself i found it so so easy and yeah i'm a vegan now i hope i can carry on this lifestyle for as long as possible and of course as time is flying by i started getting really anxious about the normal things that everybody would be getting anxious about i was really anxious i remember at my scan where they would test if your baby is healthy and stuff like that yes my baby is really healthy it turned out of course and yes i'm still anxious in case they haven't found anything that they're supposed to find then I was really anxious about the gender. I had a specific gender in mind that I wanted and I was just so scared if I get the opposite I'm gonna be disappointed, which I shouldn't be of course, but gender disappointment also exists. Now of course I am more anxious about labour and I had these courses the other day, how to deal with labour and what is labour and what's gonna happen and I feel so much better now. I feel calmer but I'm still anxious because now I feel ready and I want it to come as soon as possible but of course I can't, I have to wait little bit more, just like two months more, three months more, whenever the baby decides to come. And that's basically how I've been feeling during the second trimester. Now, I was hoping I'm gonna get so much better by my third trimester and stuff like that, but now I feel like it's slowly going downhill again because I'm more and more tired. I can feel so much more pressure in my stomach. It's getting bigger, it's growing, the baby's moving more. I feel more hungry, the indigestion skin getting stronger, but I shall make another video about my third trimester soon. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to and I hope your pregnancy is going well as well. So yeah, I'll see you soon.